Hi, I'm Christina, and I'm a United Nations Young Leader for the Sustainable Development Goals. I'm also the producer of Talk Up Radio, Jamaica's only youth-led radio program. Today, I'll be talking about sexual health, pleasure, and well-being during the COVID-19 pandemic. This video is in collaboration with UNFPA Caribbean as part of the Youth Against COVID-19 campaign. Now, sexual health is a state of physical, mental, and social well-being about our sexuality. This means that on your terms, you can have consensual, pleasurable, and safe sexual experiences. Even during a lockdown, sexuality is a normal and healthy part of our lives, whether you have a partner or not. It is normal for a lot of us to wonder how we can express our sexuality and experience safe and pleasurable sex while physical distancing. Now, in many countries, young people struggle to access sexual and reproductive health services, information, and products. Lockdowns might make accessing essential services even more difficult. Barriers for accessing information and services will be higher for young people in vulnerable groups, such as LGBTI youth, youth with disabilities, and indigenous young people. We also need to understand that we're all different and we have different needs. That's why we have the right to access information and services to make the right choices for us. Here's what we know. First of all, having direct sexual contact with someone who's infected will put you at risk of contracting COVID-19 too. Although COVID-19 is technically not a sexually transmitted infection, physical touch and kissing can make sex a high-risk activity because the virus is spread through close physical contact. Ultimately, the risk of contracting COVID-19 from sexual contact depends on the person who you choose to have sex with and all the people they've interacted with. So keep that in mind and make the best choice for you. There are many ways you can still enjoy your sexuality. For example, masturbation is a safe practice during this outbreak. You are your safest sex partner. To stay safe during sex, you should take hygienic measures. Wash your hands before and after sex. And of course, always practice safe sex and ask for consent. When using social media, we all need to respect our partner's right to privacy. They should always provide consent for anything we post about them, especially related to sexuality. Be mindful of who you speak to online. Only engage in sexting and online sex with people you know and trust. It's always your right to say no or to stop engaging if you ever feel uncomfortable or unsafe. You should also be aware of the laws in your country when it comes to age of consent and sex online, especially when it comes to pornography and sexting. Unfortunately, COVID-19 is not the only virus we have to worry about. Sexually transmitted infections like HIV are not under lockdown. We can prevent STIs by using male or female condoms with lubricant or dental dams during sex. To avoid pregnancy, we can also use our choice of modern contraceptives. To learn more on how to prevent pregnancies, you can visit the FAQ page on contraception and COVID-19 on the WHO website. In most countries right now, we are allowed to leave home to go to the pharmacy or to seek health care. This includes sexual and reproductive health. If you can, consult with your health provider about stocking up on supplies you might need for the coming two to three months. Think about your sexual needs and your reproductive needs for the next few weeks. For example, menstrual health products, condoms, contraceptives, ARVs, or any other medication. In some countries, online applications and hotlines can offer contraceptives and other sexual health supplies such as menstrual products. See what's available in your country. We know that sexual and gender-based violence increases in times of crisis. There is already significant increase in reports of domestic violence all across the world. The risk of violence will likely grow due to the containment measures, falling household incomes, school closures, or stress related to COVID-19. Because of the pandemic, child marriages and femicide may also increase. Any form of violence or discrimination is unacceptable. We need to be informed about how we can get support for ourselves and others who may be at risk. 
Learn about online services or hotlines in your country that can help people facing abuse at home. So as someone who creates media that encourages young people to talk up, I know that talking openly about young people's sexual health is the most important thing we can do to ensure our needs are being met and our questions are being answered, especially during this uncertain time. If you learned anything new about how to take care of your sexual health during COVID-19, use this template to create your own video and help spread the word on how your friends can protect themselves too. Stay COVID-19 free and stay safe.